Hi. Welcome to the first segment of um, my new show called What the Fuck. Welcome. Um, <laughs> this is going to be a very fun show that causes people to hate me <laughs> pretty badly. <laughs> and I, I don't care. Um, so, so, disclaimer, you, you will probably be offended, especially if uh, you're one of the groups I'm talking about, or basically anything I talk about, someone's going to be offended, because people get offended way too easily nowadays anyway. Um, secondly, these are my own views, no one's cramming them down your throat. It's very simple to just hit dislike and keep going on your merry way through the YouTube land. You don't have to stay here. I'm not holding you at gunpoint, so I don't want to hear anyone bitching about, oh my god, hey. like, fuck you. And third and most importantly, uh, so let's get on. Uh, since this is my first installment, we're going to take it nice and um, easily, I guess, and go into a fun direction that I always enjoy talking about, which is um, how retarded Christians are. <laughs> so, a little backstory. I, I um, was raised a Baptist for a good quarter of my life, and I have never felt so close to retardation in my life since. Um, for those of you who don't know what Christians believe in, much like Scientology and all the other ones, uh, Christians believe that there was a dude who was floating out inside the cosmos all by himself, inside of the void, and said like a weirdo unto himself one day, let there be light. And I guess out of nowhere, at a synchronistic moment, the Big Bang happened, and the dude that was floating there was like, damn, that's pretty awesome. So everything was formed, and uh, and there was land on one single... Uh, sustainable planet for life because there's no mention of aliens anywhere nor dinosaurs or anything of relevance to that matter and um, then he was so lonely and forever alone he decided it wasn't enough that you know land and animals were formed he had to also try and create something inside of his likeness, so created this dude named Adam. Personally, if I was lonely, I would have created a chick first, just being honest, throwing that out there, but apparently he wanted a dude named Adam, which his name itself sounds like the building block of all, you know, life, which is Adam's, but whatever, so dude created another dude, that dude got lonely, friend zoned God, I'm assuming, and God was like, well, fine, let's create you a bitch. So put him to sleep, uh, took out one of his ribs, which has always been strange, and uh, Houdini together a fucking, he, he basically uh, professored from, you know, the Powerpuff Girls. He, he somehow warlocked a woman out of one rib. And then there was a lot of frolicking and explicit fucking and all this fun crap. And I, um, then I think <clears throat> Voldemort came in snake form and started talking to young Harry. I'm sorry, um, to uh, to uh, Adam and Eve. I think her name was, and um, there was 
some type of fruit that somehow made them evil and there was like a bunch of kids but it was an incest and there was um there was a whale that swallowed a Pinocchio and um I think somewhere in there was a dude on a cross or maybe a crossroads. I don't know. There was a lot of weird shit in it. I mean, like, Revelations is the ending book, and that shit's like an acid trip on mushrooms listening to Pink Floyd. So I don't put too much stock into it, but let let's get into the basic core of their belief for a second so they believe that in order to be that that everyone is born a sinner or you know evil <laughs> because some chick ate an apple because Voldemort told her to and that in order to counteract the evilness of the apple that none of us have eaten but we're all guilty of for some strange fucking reason, we need to believe in weirdo God that talks to himself and creates um, bitches from ribs and drowns a bunch of people. Yeah, there was a whole g bunch of genocide from this dude. And, um something about um, in order to get to like the mothership or um, heaven or whatever we have to be a zombie and eat the flesh of his son and drink his blood zombie vampire mix my bad and we have to um, be good for goodness sake because Santa is always watching. It, this is what they believe in. I'm I'm just fucking reporting the facts. So uh yeah, there's a man in the sky that is looking down on us, judging us, and if he doesn't like us and put us on his nice list, then we go to a place of torment and um, uh, fire and um, Justin Bieber singing and Miley Cyrus twerking in her face or something like that. I'm, I'm just going to come right out and say it. Uh, Dr. Seuss books are more believable than the Bible. And people who place their faith inside of something outside of themselves that is that retarded, people place their faith in anything. I understand this. But if you're going to place your faith in something, make sure it's something that makes sense. Not something that's just a hodgepodge of fucking what a fuck. Anyhore, uh, this has been my first segment. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, leave your comments at the bottom. Hit like and subscribe if you like what you hear. And if you don't, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. I really don't care. Have an awesome day. And be radical.